Okay, so it's gonna ask if you wanna calibrate. Remember, this is where normally you'd go around and hit your points. Yep. If we so are doing our own, it takes us to this uh, no control point calibration. Go ahead and hit okay. I don't think the receiver's battery level's low. Essentially what you're doing is you're giving yourself, or you're telling the tablet what the northing easting elevation is of the site. And what it's doing, and how we do that is we set our rover rod up over a, a point Okay. And we press that measure. Uh, don't do it yet. And what it's going to do is it's going to give that point that you're set up over that northern easting and elevation. Oh, okay, so we set in a, we set in a, a control point. Basically. Yeah, essentially. Um, now, a lot of times, whether you're doing a a waterway or a ho or a hog pit, they're going to give you a, like an elevation hub, like a 100. So what we do is we tap into that elevation um, box right there. So you can tap in there. This one? Yep. And we're going to change that to whatever elevation it's on the point. is on the hub okay. that they give us. So can we use... Uh... Well, let's just use like a corner of the concrete or something over there. Okay. And let's say we had a hub out there yep. and they gave it... It was 100. So what you'll do is you'll put in 100 there. So go ahead okay. and type in 100. So... Yeah, we really don't have a hub out here. No to use on yeah. yeah let's just use the corner of the concrete yep for this you want to you want to have it level we'll set up we don't have a hub here today but we'll set up over the corner of the concrete and we'll call it our hub and let's say they yeah they give you a a hub and tell you that it's an elevation of 100 so Sometimes sometimes it'll be actual elevation and sometimes it'll be something arbitrary. A lot of times the waterways will use 100. Um, so go ahead and type in 100 there. So it's blue so you know you can edit it. So yeah, what we're doing is we're te essentially telling the system right here That's is an elevation of 100. So everywhere we go is going to be based off of that being yep, 100 elevation. Yep. So you go measure. Um, and we can press start. And it'll count up to 15. 15 seconds, yeah. You always want to save your base station as a control point. Yep. So, yep, save it as a control point. Okay. All right. So now you'll notice that we've got northern easting and elevation now. Yep. And that elevation is based off of our uh -huh. yep. point being 100. So it's showing right now that we're reading the 9. 80 something so yeah we should be close to 100 we're set up over there yep. perfect yep Sounds good. all right so um the situation we kind of got you know you want to be square with the road and you want to be x amount of feet off of it so what we're going to typically do is measure a line and it doesn't have to be a long line okay. along the road that's going to give us something to square off of okay. and how we do that is right now we're kind of in our measure mode you can tell by the measure button at the bottom right yep we can tap that icon down there this one here yep and switch to new line now kind of everything up till here has been the same as from waterways to um to these hog hog uh, pads or hog pits um this will actually be the same thing with um with waterways as well, other than waterways, you're gonna go through and shoot the actual shoot center them, yeah. line yep. or where they've got marked out. Right now, what we're doing is we're just shooting a line to square our hog pad off of. So you can go ahead, hit the hit the accept button and we're gonna go just shoot a short line along where we Straight wanna, away. yeah, where we wanna square off of. Okay. Okay, we're, we're where we wanna be shooting our line along the road. Um, so go ahead and hit the measure button. This one? This one? Yep. So after I, I already pressed this right Yep. Right here, right? So that put you in the mode of shooting lines. And okay. you can kind of tell the icon there. It That's supposed to be a line icon. Okay. So yep, you'll go ahead and hit measure. measure. And then you'll oh. walk. <laughs> um, doesn't have to be long, but it's got to be square with where you want to start your building pad. So let's say it right here. Yep. And you'll go ahead and hit measure again. All right, so at that point, 
we've got something to square off of. Um, we've got our kind of something to base our distance yep. off of. So you can hit the um, the same icon you did. Yep, down there, and then hit accept down at the bottom right, and that will end your line. So now it's no oh, longer shooting it. It's, it's got sa you saved it. Yep, got and these it. um these squares are coverage grids to shut those off. You can go there. You can turn off our coverage grid and hit accept. Okay. All right, oh, so okay. there we've got our our line. I remember the top of the screen is north, um, so that's why it's showing us like that. Um, from here, what we're going to do is we're going to offset a point from there. So, um, let's say, you know, we've got to kind of decide where we want to put our building okay. off of this, but we can offset points off that line. Um, we're going to do that in Kogo. So we'll go home. We'll go Kogo, go create points and arcs. And one of the things I like to do here is always go up to this top right. There's a question mark. Yep. I wanted to make sure I got that. Um, and that's going to give you, a, rather than those icons over at the side, it's going to tell you what they actually are. Oh, okay. Um, yeah. And what we want is our offset point at station. This one? Yep. Um, so if you hit close, close. you can so see what that icon looks like. Okay. You can hit close. It's this one? Yep. So it'll tell you up at the top, offset point at station, and it'll kind of give you instructions on what you've got to do down there. So the first thing we do is we tap our line. So go ahead and tap that short line that we've got on the actual screen. Yep. Just by hand? By yep. Hand. Oh. And it'll highlight it. Yep. Uh, hit the next button. So this is where it's going to ask us how far... So station's going to determine how far down that line do we want to put that point. So we started up we started up there, ended right here. Um, you know, depending on where where we go, you know, that station is going to be how far along that line mm -hmm. do we want to go. You can see that station change yep. if I click that way yep zero would be the very first point that you shot so that'd be the very first point that you shot um you know you can click on the end of the line to get the the very end point that you shot so we went 26 feet yep from there to here so let's say we wanted to be square where with where we you know we wanted to start where um mm -hmm. where we ended We'll go ahead and leave it at uh, the 26 foot. That horizontal offset, and it's a little bit easier if you look at it like this. That horizontal offset is going to determine how far off this line we are. So I know normally you got to be 100 foot, so you'll put your horizontal offset at 100 foot. But for today, you know, we talked about just doing 50. Yep. So in your horizontal offset, just do a 50. Go ahead and tap. I'm oh, sorry. Oh, no, you're fine. Go ahead and tap below there. This one? Yep. Now look down at the bottom. So the top of the screen's north. Oh, yeah. Um, It's showing it off oh, to the, the left. Oh, the top of the screen is always north? Yep. Yep. Okay. So it's showing it off to the left, which would put us out into the, the bean field. So we want to go the other way. So our horizontal offset, let's switch that to a negative 50. Yep. Tap in there. There's a negative button down at the bottom. Oh, okay. So for, I noticed... For B plus, it's just you don't have to you don't have a, pl a plus button. Nope, nope. Just minus. Yeah, I noticed right. that on the those are two. Yep. So do minus. a minus fifty. Oh shoot. Minus fifty. And from there, it'll ask us what we want to name the point. We'll just leave it topo one. You can hit accept. All right. So now you go ahead and hit close. And you should see point. a point 50 foot off over to that oh, yeah. that other side. So if I walk and find over yep. there and find So that. go ahead and press and you can press and hold on that. And go stake point. And it'll actually 
guide you over there and you can go find it. All right, so we found where our point was. Um, the last thing that we've got to do, we talked about that being 100. Normally they'll give you an elevation that they want this hog building. Um, so what you're going to do is you're going to press and hold on that point. We're gonna, what we're going to do is we're going to elevate that point. Because right now it's top of ground. Mm -hmm. um, we need to be at the correct elevation based off of our, our hub. So to do that, press and hold on that point. I'll hit cancel. Yeah, press and hold on it. Go edit data. And then you'll notice that there's a box next to elevation. Go ahead. Mm -hmm. and, uh, down at the bottom. So we had it at a hundred percent. So it put us 50, 50 foot above here. So we need so this to. this is higher 50 feet. Yep. Yeah. Um, so we need to change the elevation there to be the elevation that we want the floor of our. Okay. Yeah. Our hot hog pad. Again, that's all based off of where our hub is. So, so 100. Hub, um, if we want it to be level with our, um, our hub that we shot, we'd put it 100. Let's just go ahead and use the example. Uh, let's say we're eight foot below the, the hub that they gave us. Um, so 92. Yep, yep. So we'd put just a 92 in there, press save, and then hit close. And now, um, you can't see it, but if we go here and look at point elevations, that point is oh, at yeah. a 92. Yeah, yep. Our um, base station is over mm -hmm. there. But the, yeah, there's the point that we shot. All right. So pretty simple. From there, we're going to go through and we're going to build the rest of our, our pad. So to do that, we're going to get back into Kogo. So we go home, Kogo, create points and arcs. And the one that I like to use, you can hit the question mark um, to see it, is point at bearing and distance. Okay. This one here? Yep. Okay, so so that's, that's the one we'll want to use. Um, one of the things I, I meant to say, we want to be square with that road. So we squared a, a point 50 foot off of it, um, but we want to be squared with that road. Point at bearing and distance is going to allow us to put a point at a fixed direction, um, at a fixed direction off of a point at a, a certain length. Now to get that, that distance, what we're going to do is we're going to press and hold on our line. Okay. And we're going to go line information. And it should tell us our bearing. So you can see it's 0, 40, 28. So hit the close button. Um, our point at bearing and distance, we can get into that now. Um, it's going to have us pick our origin point. So go ahead and pick our point that we offset. This one? Nope, it would be the one that we did 50 foot off. Oh, okay. Um, and just tap it. So go ahead and hit the exit out oh, of there. Just tap it. Yep, just tap it. Tap accept. So we chose our point that we want to start at, and it's going to ask us our angle or our bearing. Um, we grabbed the point information off of that line, and we saw that it was a zero, forty, twenty-eight. So what you're going to do? So that's showing ninety zero 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 zero. Yep. Put in a zero point. Four zero. Four zero. So Oh four zero. Yep. Exit. Point twenty eight. And if we just tap below there, that should put that exactly square with, with our road? with our road. Yep. Cool. So right now we're basing it off of the point that we tapped, which is our fifty mm -hmm. foot offset point. Um we're gonna put a point forty degrees or It'd be zero degrees um, just slightly off and north. Uh, we can use these arrows to go left and right, oh, 90 yeah. degrees. And from there, we can start building our pad. So we've got our horizontal offset. Let's just say that this pad was, this hog, you know, hog shed was 20 by 20. Yeah. So um, depending on what way you want to go, again, the top of that screen is north. Our horizontal offset, we put whatever distance our wall is. So in this case, you know, we can put 20 just for practice. Go 20? Yep. Again, use the um, the arrow keys to 
kind of point it whatever direction you want. Does it make sense? It's showing you where it's going to point, mm-hmm. put that point. So right so now it's putting 20 yep. foot north of us. Okay, so go ahead and accept. Yep. It's going to ask you what you want to name it. We'll go ahead and keep Topo it Tobo 2. Two. All right. And now you can use the the arrows Arrow. up at the top. To go that way. Yep, so that would be towards the road, if mm-hmm. you look. Um, let's go ahead and change it up, and let's say we wanted to, you know, let's say it was 20 by 30. Oh, okay. So let's have it going, way. yeah, 30 or 35 foot to the east. To change the the distance or the, the wall length, we change our horizontal offset. So right now it's at 20. Let's see, so yeah, I do. 30. Yep. Okay. Hit accept. Yep. And then you'd turn the corner back that way. Again, we only went 20 foot there, so we won't, we want to change, change that it. back yeah, to 20. Okay, good thing. Yep. That's number four. Yep. Oh. And that gives us a perfectly square yep. with the road pad. The only thing left to do is I go through. Oh, our thing died. You want me to get a new battery? Uh, we should be able to. How long is it? Okay, so to finish up, uh, what I like to do is go through and use this create line or boundary option. Which looks like that. That. Yep. I like to use that. Let's yep. go ahead and tap on it to create my boundary. So you can go ahead and tap your four corners. Yep. Oops. Damn it. You got a back button up <laughs> here. And we can use, we can either tap it closed or up at the top, there's a button. Oh, they, does it? Close it. Okay. Yep. And you hit accept. All right. So there we've got our, our hog shed. Um, we've got our, our boundary. We're going to ignore this um, line over there if you want to. You can even press and hold on it. And go delete line. Delete points along. Yep, we want to get rid of everything. So now we literally have our pad. Mm-hmm. Um, there's two things that are left over. Uh, we just need to, and I've got the help sheets too. We just need to save it as a design and okay. we need to uh, then kick it out to the machine. So to save it as a design, you're going to go to the home button. You're going to go to import export. And then you're going to go to surface as design. We'll give our design a name. So if you want to do shop, yep, that's the way. Um... We okay. want to include measured line work, so that's going to give us that outer boundary in the machine. So we can use that drop down. So include. Yep. Yep. And hit accept. Um, when it asks us our outer, uh, how do we want to put a boundary on this? Just use outermost points. Hit accept. And now um, we have our, our pad ready to be kicked into the machine. So to kick it in the machine, we'll go home, go import, export. We'll go export to GCS 900. And then what we do is we take this export data type, drop down, change it to design we just saved our design oh, there our machine control device is a cb 460 so we need to change that yep cb 460 yep. I, I, I noticed i remember that but i can't remember what it, what that is yep that's the display in your, your oh okay yeah, yeah so at this point it'd be ready to plug a flash drive in hit accept and it's it'll save it right to a flash drive okay so right now it's gonna say yep And at at that point, you're ready to load it into the machine and go.